Hi everyone. Um, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're listening. First of all, I love you. But um, I kind of want to explain like the three main components we use in magic when we do, you know, ritual work, like the LBRP, which, you know, balances the different aspects of ourselves. The three main components are breath work, visualization, and vibration. So when we are doing breath work, we are taking in energy. Um, you know, we can go days without water, we can go weeks without food, but you know, we can only go a couple minutes without breathing. Well, as above, so below. The same way our physical bodies take in air, our, you know, etheric, our energy bodies take in energy. And this energy, um, you know, there's a name for in every culture around the world, except for ours. Like, for example, the um, in China, they call it qi. In Japan, they call it ki. In India, they call it prana. The ancient Hebrews call it the ruach. Um, what we are doing is accumulating that and using it and directing it. One of the first things we are doing is learning to, for one, perceive that and to move that throughout our bodies and throughout our aura. In magic, they call it the radiant divine breath, and that kind of gives you an idea of how to use it. You know, radiant means, you know, bright, to glow, light. Pretty much we are, are visualizing and breathing in light. And everyone's different, everyone perceives this energy differently. You know, some people will be able to visualize it, you know, very clearly in their mind. Others, you know, they, not much so, but it's more of, of a feeling. You just know, you know it's happening. You know something's happening. You know you're doing it. We're using visualization to shape that energy that we're taking in by using our breath work. And then the next thing is vibration. If you watch my video on the Kabbalistic cross, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that when you touch that part of your body, you want to feel it and you vibrate it. You want to feel that part of your body vibrating. Or attention goes, energy flows, you know. When we're doing that, we are very much forcefully moving energy into that area of our body. So yes, those are the three main components we are using when we are doing magic. You know, the Kabbalistic cross. I will teach y'all the LBRP very soon. Um... Once you start doing some of these practices, it brings you out of a very deep, deep, unconscious state. And what I mean by that is most people are unconsciously bound by energies that they cannot perceive or don't even know exist. For instance, earth, air, fire, and water. So one of the first um, techniques I learn in order to kind of perceive this energy and to move it is you literally just try to feel the inside of your hands just close your eyes and just try to feel the inside of it even if you think you're projecting it you know just just feel it once you're like able to i guess to like sense what's going on like once you're able to feel the inside of your hand i guess you want to use your breath work and visualization and visualize that you are breathing light into your hand. If it goes any, you know, just keep doing that. Eventually, you know, move that, move, try to move that up your arm, you know, into your chest, throughout your body. And that's, that's the, one of the first techniques that I learned. Another technique that I learned is called nourishing your aura. And how you do this is you pretty much you inhale, but you imagine you're inhaling into your tipra center, which is a combination of your heart and your, uh, your solar plex chakra right in the middle of your chest. So you're inhaling and you see a brilliant gold light form. And with each inhalation, it grows brighter and brighter. Exhale, the energy comes, I mean, the air comes out, but the energy stays in. Whenever you're ready, see it glow as bright as you can, and then just feel that energy come out your chest, through your body, and into your aura. 
Another one is called the fourfold breath. And pretty much what you do is you inhale to the count of four, you hold it for the count of four, exhale for the count of four, and then hold it for the count of four. And you do that over and over. When you do that and you do it long enough, you start to become aware of the subtle energy that lies behind the breath. A good visualization for this that will get you like kind of prepared for the LBRP is on the first inhala inhalation, imagine you're, just imagine springtime, you know, and everything that reminds you of spring. Hold, spring is at its peak. Exhale, it's slowly going away. On the hold, summer's coming up. You inhale, imagine summer. Hold, summer's at its peak, you know, you get the idea. And do that with all four of the seasons. I'll give you one more called the, um, I think it's called the Tree of Life meditation. Pretty much what you're doing is you're inhaling and visualizing, you're inhaling um, light from, you're inhaling, you know, energy from all around the universe. You gather it in your chest. On the exhale, you form roots down into the earth, deep down to the earth. You inhale, see the light grow as bright as you can. On the exhale, it shoots up and it forms, you know, branches, a tree above your head, a willow tree. Then on the third exhale, imagine a brilliant, brilliant green light that represents all life on earth and the middle of the earth. And you're breathing that up the roots into your chest. And then on the exhale, you shoot it up and it comes down like a, like a willow tree over and into your aura and you do that over and over. This is work. I mentioned in one of the last videos that this is calisthenics for your aura. When you are doing these practices, you are working out muscles that you have never worked out before. And I'm not talking about physical muscles. It might be, you know, hard at first. You might not be able to visualize good. You might not be good at the breath work or whatever. When you go to the gym the first time, you know, you don't expect to lift a lot of weights. You know, you start off with a small amount of weight and you work your way up. It's the same idea. This is this is work. You are working something out. Um, but by practicing these and doing this, it will get you ready for what is next. Everything is based off of pretty much this. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm very excited for what's next. I'm very excited to teach you, you know, the LBRP. It has done so much for me. It is like the philosopher's stone in this. Like, if you ever watched um, Karate Kid when Mr. Miyagi has Daniel, you know, wiping wax on, wax off. He didn't realize he was learning something so big. Well, this is, this is what that is. I'm very excited for that. It'll take, once you start doing this, you know, it'll take a lot. You'll be a lot more stable, more calm, and more centered in the world. I practice, practice, practice. Um, the reason I posted the Kabbalistic Cross as one of the first videos is because it is the first step in the LBRP. So I hope you're practicing. I hope you got something from this. I'm very, very proud of you for You for are doing. literally, by doing these practices, growing as a person, better understanding yourself, therefore understanding God, growing closer to God. You're not only elevating yourself but everything and everyone around you remember that that's what keeps me going that is my why to help everything and everyone around me brings me great joy <laughs> i love you guys um peace